Next we're going to talk about tube styles, the advantages they have and the characteristics they have. Uh, plastic tubes. Semi-rigid plastic, like this nylon. It's real commonly used. It has some really significant advantages. First, it's cheap. Uh, very easy to modify for different lengths. It's available in a huge variety of sizes and colors. A plastic is corrosion resistant. That's really great for salt water use. Plastic is lightweight. You can create flies that are a lot easier to cast. It doesn't damage the leader. There's no need to, to put a liner in it, as it were. Now some plastic tubes are pretty stiff, and they can be directly clamped in your Norvice. Other plastic tubes, like this, this nylon here, we're going to stiffen those up by using a mandrel. Simply place that in there. Now the tube is real stiff, a lot easier to tie your fly in there. Lined metal tubes, they add some weight to the fly, and that's an advantage in some patterns. Now, we have a smooth plastic liner inside the metal tube. This avoids cutting the leader. The metal tube provides rigidity. It doesn't require use of a mandrel. It can be mounted on a tapered needle. It can be end clamped. In some cases, directly clamped to the vise. Normally, line tubes are made by melting the ends of the plastic tubing, which is inside the metal tubing. This will bulge or bugle over the ends of the plastic, keeping it in place. Let me show you how that's done. We have a piece of plastic tubing inside our metal tube here. We'll heat the end like this. You can see how that melts, forms over there. Forms a neat little bugle into it, just like that. That'll keep that from sliding out of the tube, so you can create your fly on the metal tube itself. Machined bottle tubes are a fairly recent innovation. Now, bottle tubes can add significant weight, and they can also create a shape on the fly itself. They're available in a huge variety of different sizes and shapes and materials. You can see here is a few examples. Now, most bottle tubes are machined rather smoothly on the inside and probably don't require a plastic liner to protect the leader from being damaged. Bottle tubes, however, are expensive and they do not provide for much in the way of flexibility and fly design. And if they're not lined, they will be required to be clamped on the end for tying the flies.